So how does it look for two lightweight travelers um, when they're leaving their bungalow? Well, there's my backpack. About, oh, it's probably about almost five kilos now. My with cat. With water. With water. You got your backpack on there. Show us. About the same. Nice. Right? And that's pretty much it. And then we have uh, some pants that we're getting rid of. We don't really need them, so even lighter. And uh, that's a durian there in our bag that we're bringing with us, not ripe yet. And then all our plastic bags that are still intact, uh, we are giving to the woman at the market so she can reuse the plastic bags. So that's pretty much it. We are good to go. We don't want to carry around those huge backpacks like everyone else is doing. No need at all. So we travel light and keep it simple. Check out our up one. I want to be a human with a backpack rather than a backpack with a human. Yeah. Sometimes you see the backpacks and you're just like, where's the person? No. A wise man once told me, and uh, the way to know if your backpack is too heavy is to do this. And if you can do that, oh my, it's a bit on the heavy side, that's, then you're good. That's enough. If it's too heavy to hold that like this, then it's too heavy to carry. You want to be e able to carry easily. When you got two backpacks like this, amongst the two of us, sometimes we have to balance a little bit. Like, this is one that's too heavy, this one's, you know, and make it even. Uh, but that's one of the good things about being two people, that you can equal out some of the common items, like we only need one knife, right? We only need uh, one computer, really. So, we, because we're sharing those things, it makes it easier. If you're traveling alone, you're going to have to carry all the things yourself and you might be pushing the limits of ultra light, maybe. Maybe you're uh, you know, going to carry something like six kilos or something. I think we're carrying on average maybe five kilos each, but you could go as low as three kilos or as high as six, seven, and still be traveling fairly light. Now, of course, the truth is you can really get away with almost no weight at all. There are only a few things that are really essential. Like you don't, you wouldn't, you don't need a computer, right? You can go to the internet cafe. You don't need any of the electronics. You maybe need a phone. Um, you don't need the book, technically. You don't need, there's so many things you don't need, so in essence, you only need a, little, a few things. But it's up to the individual to choose what they want to have with them. And it's essentially a sport. It's just for fun. You can travel lighter, you can travel heavy, but traveling with those huge backpacks, like I see all the backpackers are doing, takes away the whole pleasure, I think, of, of traveling because you have to carry around that like, crazy thing. The backpack is bigger than you are and it's just way, way too much. And I think some of the things that people are carrying that they don't need is way too much clothing. Way too much clothing. You almost need no clothes in the tropics if you're willing to walk around and just almost... I mean, I, I just wear, walk around like with this shorts and no t-shirt most of the time and you can just wash your clothes on the go, so you almost need no clothing. You barely ever need a towel, you can use your sarong, but most of the time you're in a hostel and they got towels. I mean, it's, unless you're out camping or something like that. But again, if you're in the tropics, you don't need really to use a towel because it's hot, you go swimming, get out of the water, it just dries. You don't even have to use a towel. Um, a few other things that people are carrying around that I guess again comes down to personal preference is things like mosquito nets. People are very scared of mosquitoes in the tropics and I understand why malaria and dengue fever and all that but I think that's a topic for another video but really I think this, the risk is very overrated. I've had so many mosquito bites and I still haven't had malaria or dengue. I think, I mean, I had fever one day, but that was dengue fever, I don't know, I don't think so. Doesn't matter, the point is, it's heavy to carry around a mosquito net, and you don't really need it. And in some places, if you're lucky, you've got things like this, screened windows, 
you can keep an open window but still keep it closed for mosquitoes. And some places have mosquito nets. And if you really, you know, if it goes bad, you can always just buy it. You know, if you really feel like you need it. And that's actually one of the main tips as well. Anything you need, you can buy when you need it. So don't, when you're packing your bags at home, don't think too much about uh, what you, you know, what you're gonna, what if, I, what if this happens and I need that, or what if that happens? Like, well, if that happens, you can just go out and buy that thing, usually. So remember, wherever you go, there are other people, and those people have the same needs as you do. So you can pretty much find anything you need anywhere. So don't worry so much about it. Just get a small backpack, fill it up with the essential, and get going. No problem. I hope you learned something from this video. If you have any questions about how to pack your backpack, what to bring, what not to bring, uh, any questions about what we're carrying, feel free to comment down below or send me a message and I'll be happy to answer your questions. Um, get out there in the world and travel because it's the most fun thing there is. And if you do it lightweight with as little luggage as possible, it will be all the more enjoyable because you can just pack your bag like that and jump on a train, get off the train wherever you want, bam, walk around, no problem, you don't have to carry around like that crazy backpack that sort of limits your flexibility a lot. Alright, have a nice day, please subscribe if you want more videos like this, and thanks for watching. Check out our upcoming video about lightweight traveling, we're going to go through everything we have in our backpacks so be sure to stay tuned for that and subscribe if you want more videos.